Good morning, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to Monday Morning Video Announcements. Today is April 25th, and we only have 17 days left of school. So, wow, I'm excited. Everything. Oh, April Fool's. April Fool's Day. Got all of you. All right, before we start, could everyone please stand up and face the flag? And we'll begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Now, it truly is April 1st today, and so it's a Monday, so we have in the studio today the great and wonderful Mr. Winkle with our Students of the Week. All right, real quick before we do the Students of the Week, just a quick little reminder, Mr. Harris talked about it on Friday to make sure we are walking when we are coming and going from the cafeteria. We have a lot of moving people, uh, especially around those times, and it's very important that we're walking up the steps, down the Green Mile, and uh, we'll make sure we're responsible and being safe. All right, thank you. Now, on to our Students of the Week. We got five today, so let's get rocking and rolling. We got a bunch of problem solvers. First one, come on over. Tell us your name and who nominated you. Um, hi, I'm Nick Donnellan, and I was nominated for being a problem solver by Dr. Santangelo. All right, awesome job, Nick. Next up, name and who nominated you. My name is Layla Walker. I'm, I'm getting this award for being a problem solver, and I was awarded by Ms. Rodriguez. All right, great job, Ms. Walker. Next up. I'm Macy Young, and I was nominated by Mrs. Reedy. Good job, Macy. Two more. I'm Patrick, and I was nominated for being a problem solver by Ms. Rutledge. Good job, Patrick. Um, I'm Sarai Clay, and I was nominated by Mr. Reese for being a problem solver. All right, great job to our students of the week. They get a nice little Jimmy John sandwich. And we're going to turn it back to Mr. Harris. Happy April Fool's Day. All right, thank you, uh, Soraya. Just so you know, I think back my first year teaching, I think your mom was one of my students of the week that I nominated, so that makes me feel old and depressed. All right, we're going to move on. All right, last chance. Friday, April 5th is your final day to order your Sycamore Junior High yearbook. If you don't get it that day, you won't be able to get any. It's $35. You can grab off the t tab off the yearbook flyers in the hallway. All the information you need to order is in there, all right? So be sure to give it to your parents. There's no extra yearbooks being ordered this year. So if you don't get it by Friday, April 5th, you will not get a yearbook, all right? So don't, don't come to us the last day of school begging for a yearbook. You won't get one. All right, it is Monday. We have that distinguished gentleman of character. We're missing one of our men of character. So we got the distinguished gentleman of character, the most interesting teacher in the world, Mr. Stern. <laughs> We can't top that introduction. Uh, we have two nominations, and I'm not sure if we've done this one before. I got kind of my old and my new mixed up a little bit, but if we have, I, it's definitely worthy of reading again. This goes to Carly Thiel. It says she's been leading our school by being respectful and kind to others. She's not only helped out students at school, but also led the volleyball team with pride and leadership. So great job to Carly. And also Simone Gertry is our last Nomination for this week, it says Simone always leads by example in the classroom. Even when things are, even when there are only a few minutes remaining in class, she always works up into the bell. So uh, you're definitely being noticed for your hard work and integrity. We appreciate that. Uh, this week, uh, I believe we have Andreola and Bryant. We'll be making sandwiches on Thursday with you guys. Hey, we make sandwiches on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Thank you, Mr. Stern, and congratulations to those students. Now, with our yearbook order, if you're not sure you're ordered a yearbook already, because, you know, some of you guys are kind of clueless, got to be completely honest, check the list outside Mrs. Spielman's art room. That is room 246 to see you're on that list. All right, we're going to start our air testing. So we're every day we're going to give you some important tips for taking your air test. So our first one, what I try to tell my students all the time, is read the test directions carefully for details, all right? Because sometimes there might be times when you find more than one possible answer on a multiple choice test. A key detail in the directions may require you to choose a specific answer. So make sure you read those directions when you're taking that test. 
And last but certainly not least, International Club, you're meeting today. Your focus country is Dominican Republic. All right, Dominican Republic should be exciting today. That's all of our announcements. It's Monday and it's not raining. Mark this down because we know how rare that is. You guys have a great day and go Reds. <laughs>